Total Sports sponsors three road races each year, specifically for ladies. Durban and Johannesburg host one each, while the third is here in Stellenbosch. All three races are held at the beginning of August to coincide with National Women's Month. The event included a 10km race, as well as a 5km fun run and walk for ladies less ambitious and younger. One important aspect of all these races is fun, with plenty of dancing and musical entertainment to keep the spirits high. Dominic Scott, Balelwa Samai and Renee Kalma were just some of the elite runners warming up before the start. But for the most part, it was all about the excitement and challenge of getting through the full 10 in as short a time as possible. The huge crowd lined up in perfect conditions in Stellenbosch, one of the most iconic towns in South Africa when it comes to athletics. The local university has produced numerous famous athletes over the years, and Kutzenberg track, just around the corner from the start, has been the scene of many world-famous track races. On the flat course and in the cool conditions, the pace set by Samaya was very fast and soon the leaders were past the kilometre mark while the back markers had just crossed the start line. Stellenbosch is full of historical buildings, many of them churches built over a hundred years ago. Renee Kalmer has run many great races in Stellenbosch and once again it was her familiar figure that we saw moving effortlessly to the front. In June, Kalmer looked in trouble with a niggling knee injury but that seems to have healed, an important development as she is part of the national team to take part in the IAAF World Championships in Korea later in August. As the lead group settled down, Zintle Zaniwa moved into second spot, ahead of another Cape Town Nedbank athlete, Bolelwa Samai. These two women have been the most consistent Western Province roadrunners over the past five years, over the sub-marathon distance and both are once again in fine form. First junior at the stage was Dominique Scott who was shortly going to the United States to study on an athletic scholarship at one of their top universities. The top five runners were all running close to three and a half minutes per kilometer at this stage and passed four kilometers in about 14 minutes or less. These events are carefully designed to give a good balance between elite performances by the likes of Kalma and Zaniwe on the one hand and fun, entertainment and general fitness for everyone else. They also have a national footprint taking place in the country's three main urban areas. And the Total Sports Ladies Race in Cape Town is now in its ninth year. We've grown the events to other areas in the country. We now have an event in Johannesburg, also on National Women's Day. And this year we had our first um, Total Sports Ladies Race in Durban on the 31st of July. And, and I mean, it's just amazing to see how the event has grown from its first year. We had about 800 participants. And today in Stellenbosch, we've got 4,600, um, over 4,000 in Johannesburg and last week in Durban we got about three and a half thousand ladies so obviously very positive and we've obviously seen a huge increase in the awareness um, of people and, and wanting to be healthy and so I think it's just a great platform that we offer women to come out and whether they run or walk um, you know for them it's an achievement. Well, Total Sports just felt that it's a perfect day to celebrate women in South Africa and um, we've decided to obviously bring this event to the beautiful town of Stellenbosch um, in celebration of women in this country and you know, just an amazing day, beautiful weather here today, people of all shapes and sizes um, coming out and just um, supporting our events. And athletes such as these two enjoy ladies only races immensely. The absence of male runners allows them to own the whole event, running out front, not getting jostled on the road and finishing first across the line at the end. No wonder women's running is by far the fastest growing area of athletics in South Africa. 
Scott was now challenging Samaya for third place. With the Colmer, Zini were pairing clearly away up front. Coming from a famous athletic family, Dominique certainly has the genetic profile to take her right to the top. And her time in America could well see her emerging as a world-class competitor in a few years' time. Elite running of this nature demands total concentration. It is an inward-looking sport where your mind remains focused on your pace, the route and how your body is feeling. There is a fine line between keeping yourself just below your limit and going too fast, which could result in a disastrous blow-up. That is why these girls look so focused when they run. By halfway, Balewa Samai had shaken off Dominic Scott and was back securely in third place. It will be a while before the young Scott will be able to take on a fully fit Samai and beat her regularly. For now though, a tough lesson is being learned. The scene further back could not have been a bigger contrast, with ladies happily taking their children either for a walk or for a push. Events such as these usually involve the city authorities who are eager to take the opportunity to have their say. Well, obviously with an event like this on Women's Day, uh, this is the most spectacular area to have an event like this. I mean, Stellenbosch goes without saying. Um, I don't think you could host an event like this anywhere else with everything that we have, the mountains and, and the whole vibe and the energy behind it. So, by all means, it's an event made for Stellenbosch. It's got a huge impact uh, on our community and especially on the women. Um, with, with our very diverse areas that we have, uh, it's great to see all the women and, and kids and even husbands getting involved uh, in a race like this. Uh, this morning you could see all of them there, early, hyped up, uh, very excited. It, it's marvellous, wonderful. As the race progressed, the gaps between the runners got greater. By eight kilometers, Kalma was well clear of Zaniwe and cruising to a comfortable victory. The distance she will be running in the World Champs is the marathon, more than four times as long as this race. Sintle too is in cruise mode with her huge gap over Bolelwa Samai in third place. It certainly was a good day for the Nedbank Running Club, with their runners filling the first three places Back in the pack it was an entirely different scene and the ladies were only too happy to have a word with our camera crew. I like it, 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 at the end, 44 seconds separated Kalma from Zaniwe. Renee's time of 34.04 was good, but clearly well within her potential as she stands on the brink of her first World Championship marathon. Zintle just broke the 35-minute barrier, but she had put a mass of 1 minute 40 between herself and Samai by the end of the race. Kalma ran 34.04, with Zaniwe and Samai also on the podium. Scott was eventually 37 seconds behind Samai, while Nicole Maria was the only other woman under 40 minutes. Thousands of ladies were still out on the course, enjoying the lovely day and the great company. In the shadow of the mountain, they moved along at their own pace, building, running and walking into a new, healthier lifestyle for the future. Enjoying this walk on Women's Day? Um, that is a um, world proud day. It was fun. It was nice. It was a bit of a challenge. Down, yeah. And some breezes that helped a lot. It's a total sport day. Finishing on the historic Kutzenberg track was also a highlight, as was well picking up their post-race medal, later to be proudly shown to family and friends before being mounted in a prominent place at home. started off at Plain Street and um, I pretty much led it the race after 5k. Um, I hoped for a bit more competition with Sinclair and um, she was just running in my slipstream 
and um, I was all way aware of it and then about after five days I made open up a gap on her and yeah it's just always nice running here in Stellenbosch um, the course was a bit twist and turns and windy but um, there was a lot of fun out there especially with all the students supporting in their PJs and stuff and yeah it's just always fun running in Stellenbosch.